Hello, my dear Cancer. Let's see what kind of messages are being sent to you. Uh, I also received lots of downloads over this last few days. This full moon was extremely intense for me. If you haven't received my newsletter, I have posted it publicly on the community uh, pages on my channel. You also can subscribe to my newsletter uh, via my website, cattaro.ca. So that's kind of like where I send you everything that I get, even though sometimes I'm really not given enough time to do it. So see Cancer and Cancer. So this spread is called Lenormand. Uh, it's very different from Tarot, uh, very pragmatic. Uh, it can be extremely accurate. I usually like to combine it with um, Tarot for kind of like maybe a better insight and sometimes even with Vera Sibylla with Gypsy it's kind of like getting really in interesting when you layer stuff right and feels warm and cozy just like in the winter snow as we have currently in Toronto so guys Lenormand is also going to be a part in my annual telescopes so two four six eight so order it it's still half the price if you want pre-order it's going to be done somewhere I guess middle of um, December when I edit and compile everything together so let's see what is in the store for you my dear cancers it looks like something has been left behind some of you may have left marriage behind. Some of you just didn't like kind of like the fog you may be experienced as a result of something and are currently dedicating or getting healthier or looking things kind of like in a more pragmatic ways. Maybe you just simply want to uh, be with someone who who is not hiding things and maybe it was difficult for you to deal with this in the past you were always twisting left and right trying to figure different ways out how to deal with this but I really feel that you had enough of it I can see um, huh, interesting enough I don't know uh, this is like really a lots of messages for the singles and if you're single and I know people don't generally tend to date November, December. It's like Christmas and so much stuff is happening. But I think you're dating. I really think it's you. And you might become a prey to someone. There is like the fox. Fox is not a good, even though they're beautiful. I see the red foxes in my neighborhood because I live next to a tiny little forest. And in the middle of Toronto, yes. And I see deer, foxes, and coyotes. What else? Of course, raccoons and squirrels, it goes without saying. But you see, the foxy is somebody who is dishonest, somebody who um, is presenting really well. Like, I mean, fox is beautiful, and it's very charming, but they're also shifty, and they're also witty, so you get seduced with words over here, right? They also can talk about nine to five jobs. It can really go down to maybe you're dealing with a coworker or a boss, because the bear can be a boss. Some of, some of you have left a job uh, in the last couple of months, and the job either didn't bring enough money, or you had issues with your boss, and you kind of like were looking for the new, basically, workplace or business opportunity, right? So. So being sly like a fox, and it's kind of really interesting that everything is over here, including the crossword, crossroads, crosswords, crossroads. Um, it could be good or, or bad, depending if you're a fox or not. But here it looks like that this gentleman, if you identify with uh, the energy of this gentleman, is basically you know the person who is that dubious character right who is on the lookout for their own best interests not really yours be careful watch this person out and this person is not to be trusted right so 
it's clearly a warning about going in this new direction, going in this new situation, right? Because look at this. This person is dealing with something karmic, and that something karmic you are going to trigger that also in turn is going to trigger back at you. So you meet people for a reason, season, or lifetime. That's the saying that we are clearly seeing it over here, right? Also, this Gordon, Garden Gordon. <laughs> I don't know, maybe his name is going to be Gordon. But there is Gordon and Fox, and you might be meeting maybe just like a whole bunch of disrupting people, and you guys say, off you go, you go there, yeah, yeah, go, sure, I'll call you, do it, kind of a thing, right? It could be really quite a bit of that. But you also might be put on the spot by a coworker and somebody embarrassing you uh, just for the simple sheer joy of it. Somebody really doing nasty things, right? It could be even your boss, that somebody is like taking uh, accolades for something that you prepared, especially if that was something in writing of some kind of like sword, and especially more so if it was a proposal of some kind or legal document, right? So this, since you're getting the messages, what you really need to wrap up by the end of the year and where do you need to move forward, it's really telling, this is one of those cards that they're calling Sinister Seven in Lenormand, so not sounding good because it isn't good. Then another card that is really, really bad is the Scythe. It is also showing up in a couple of months of time. So that's it telling you, but it's really good. It's kind of cutting the crap out. The book is closed, so this is the house of the book. So we don't know what is in a book. We it's it's just like when you're ten reading a new book, you are hoping it's going to keep you going. But how many of us have books on our nightstands that are just on thirty pages, fifty pages, right? And then uh, well, not that much. Well, you grab a book from you know John Grisham and. Three days later, you're calling work and you cannot come because you are sick, right? And like you just cannot let it down, right? So, Skype and a book really tells me, and guess what? This is in the house of that fox. So, if you are tangling up with someone, then in two to three months' time, it could be for some of you, even six, that is going to really depend on how long the relationship existed prior to that. So that can apply both to relationships and to your job situation. You are freaking cutting it down. You're going to say, mm, you know what, I'm an adult, I don't want to deal with this, I'm not messing with this, tired, put a fork in me, I'm done, kind of a thing. It's going to be really clearly just like that, right? Also keep in mind that you might be dealing with some friend, that somebody who fed you with some information that kind of like put you for a spin, but also put you in a really good frame of mind and kind of like some expectations, but ultimately it is undermining you. Maybe, you know, you felt gut feeling about someone you met. Uh, I don't know about this person. Yeah, he or she looks good on a paper, but uh, I don't know. And a friend who maybe knows something about this person or just simply kind of like want to get tangled up in something. Maybe you're having something. Maybe you're dating. Maybe you look better. They gave you information that was either incorrect or mean, but you didn't pick up on it. You really felt they're doing in your best interest. So keep keep that in mind. Or they maybe even introduce you to this person. Oh, this is such a lovely person. But they forgot to tell you that the person is a cheater or that they're like emptying their girlfriend's bank accounts. That sort of things. Of course, I'm exaggerating. But you know, like it's better to exaggerate to bring this to your attention than not. You guys are highly protective about the money. I can see there. There was like some issue about the money here happening. That's for sure. And this new release that's going to be starting to happen around Christmas time, it is almost for you, literally means Christmas. It will be the day after Christmas on 26th that something for you will start looking up. You are going to have completely different outlook toward life and toward what you want to do as of that morning. 
and this whole holiday season for you is going to feel very uplifting. You're going to make new decisions, you're going to start moving new directions, and frankly, you're going to just say to yourself, look, you can be the devil personified, but I don't care. I know who I am, I know what I want, and the rest of the world, if you do not want to respect me, if you do not, if you want to do things behind my back, that's your karma. Off you go, right? Because as I said, there is like something that this person wrote you in their chart, into their karmic chart, and you wrote them in, and this really needs to be dealt with. So it is important. So my dear Cancer, I really hope this was helpful. Uh, as I said, this is going to be part of my annual uh, reading, so this is still on pre-order for half the price. The Norman is really, really cool. So please order your annuals and also get on my newsletter, cattero.ca. And to get a reading with me, yeah, just contact me. All my information is down in the description box. Love you guys and all the best. And until the next time.